The movie is presented by AdNature.com, an online outdoor store. D. Carnegie, a property company. Leo Vegas, online casino. And Head, a sports company. We are back in the scenic Engadin Valley in Switzerland. Situated on the shore of the string of turquoise lakes is Silver Plana, the centre of the Engadin Swim Run, a race that is hosted every year during the second weekend of July. Yeah, my feelings are very good because, uh, yeah, the people are talking about the swim run. One year before they didn't talk about that and now they are talking here. I'm very happy that we can um, welcome 180 teams here in Silver Plan at the Engadin Valley, so I'm, I'm very happy to looking forward to the, to the Engadin swim run. It's the second year we're doing it, so we've learned a few things. Uh, we've changed the course a little bit so that we can um, make it a little more efficient for the teams, and we have fantastic weather. Last year it was cold, really cold, and now the water is warm and the weather is warm, so there will be new challenges. Engadin swim run, why? Well, the answer is, the question should be, why not? Yeah, absolutely. Look at it. It's beautiful here. It's beautiful. It leaves the bike out of triathlons, <laughs> which is good. We just traveled all the way down from Armenia and yeah, Russia. So this is an amazing race and we are very excited to be here. We've been here last year, had a lot of fun, managed to get a fourth place and qualify for Attila race. And, uh, well, we came back to repeat this good race and uh, have a good time. She asked me last year if I want to participate. I didn't even know it exists, so it's fun. I mean, we like running and now we like swimming too. So. Yeah. <laughs> Swim run number one for us, so yeah, we need to do something to prepare for Ertelair as well. The teams are getting ready up at the start in the Maloya Pass, close to the Italian border. The challenge is on. The race course of the Engadin swim run is really challenging and it's quite varied as well. In the beginning they have a tough start loop. It's steep uphill, they'll have the adrenaline from the start. It's early in the morning, it's a little cooler and they come up quite high, 2,600 meters before they come down to the first swim, which is a small, pristine, absolutely magnificent lake. It's a small lake, really up into the mountains, and um, I think that's very special because when the first uh, runners arrive there, the sun is just coming up and it would be a, a great scenery. swimming leg across Lake Cavlock is not that long, but the water is pretty cold. The start loop continues down the hiking trail and further downhill through Maloya. Following the second swim in Lake Seals awaits Camp's sprint prize for the fastest teams in their respective classes. Leading by only a few seconds, the Swedes Lella and Bjorn of Team Head Swimming win the sprint prize. Just ahead of Team 110, Swiss athletes Team Bad Boys to See No. Thomas Schraven and Jasmina Glad Schraven, Team Say No to Doping, win the mixed class sprint prize, while Caroline Homkvist and Christine Larsen, Team Ad Nature, win the women's sprint prize. The course sets off uphill again with the lush green highland slopes and breathtaking views offering the competitors a stunning backdrop. Mats and I were thinking about where to put our first international swim run race outside of Sweden. And for us, we were here in 2001 racing in the Adventure Racing World Championships. When we thought about a place, we wanted to come to a place that was really so different from the races we have in Sweden. 
and where every single image is something which is mind-boggling because nobody imagines to see anybody running around in these fantastic mountains in a wetsuit. So we just thought about it and uh, this is like paradise. After passing the picturesque village of Isola, the teams now take on an 800 metre long swim across to the Chaste Peninsula. Team 59, Austrians Philipp Hansch and Daniel Grunman are in a virtually perfect setting. In the lead, team head swimming and bad boys Tosino are battling, arriving at the peninsula at the same time. The abrupt changes in temperature between hot air and cold water, as well as the rough terrain, may expose the athletes in events such as the Engadin swim run to challenges. Several rescue and medical teams are in attendance along the course to ensure the safety of the competitors. If you're not concentrated, you can have sprained ankles and maybe broken legs. But I think this year, uh, it's warm in the water and it's warm in the air. I think uh, overheating may be will be the, the biggest challenge. Running in the boiling sunshine away from the peninsula, we see many of the athletes trying to strip the tops off their wetsuits. They are now heading for the next energy station in the village of Seals. Some years ago, lots of, of famous German writers were living the whole summertime, spent their vacations there. And also today, there's lots of, of people coming, enjoying the, the calm in this, in this place. And up in the, in the mountain, you have there the um, Hotel Waldhaus, like an old castle. The hotel is over 100 years old, and it's looking down to this village. Mats Andersen, one of Ertler's four founders and his racing partner, are here running uphill towards one of the two mountain slopes before Silver Plana. And here is the second climb witnessed by the usual buoyant crowd. The young and expansive sport of swim run is currently undergoing some key developments in terms of equipment and floating aids. The beauty of swim run is that it's a still a growing sport. You have people that are coming from all walks of life and people are developing their own gear and everybody has their own little ideas that they're playing with. And the great thing is, you're ahead or two years ahead, we have products in the stores that people are buying that have been done basically at home. Yeah, they're coming down to the Lake Sivaplana on the Surlei part of Sivaplana, passing the castle Krap de Sass, and then go into the water, the longest swim, down to Chamfer, this also another part of the village of Sivaplana. Team number 332, Finnish Dutch team Say No to Doping, are still going strong in the mixed class, adding to their lead with each leg. Team Ad Nature with Caroline and Christine, the leading women's team here on the 1400 meter swimming leg, are doing the same. The body functions might be seriously affected by the constant change from running in hot sunshine and swimming in cold water. Here we see the leaders Igor Nastic and Jean-Marc Katori in trouble after the long swim. Lella of Team Head Swimming is not feeling too well coming into land soon after. The two team members are debating whether to continue the race or not. They decide to give the race a final shot, but by now they have been overtaken and are down to third. Here in the classic ski resort and alpine destination of St Moritz, the race in the men's class has now evolved into a dramatic battle. Lella Moberig of Team Head Swimming has recuperated and they are now taking back second position, swimming in Lake St Moritz. At 
the small oasis Lake Staz at the point where the course turns back, they even go on to regain the lead and swim across the small lake in front. This is a remarkable recovery and Lella seems to have found new strength out of nowhere. Meanwhile, down at Silver Plana, there's also an ongoing struggle among many of the slower teams against the clock and the cutoff. And then after the cutoff in Silva Plana, they come down towards St. Moritz and it's flatter, it's faster, and they really need to move at a higher pace to be able to make it in time because we have another cutoff all the way down at the bottom of the valley at Le Stutz. And it's a 1540, and if you don't make it there, race ends. More and more teams have now passed San Moritz and the fastest mixed and women's teams have also turned back at Lake Stas. The lake is a popular stop for visitors and local residents on hot sunny summer days. The intense battle for victory in the men's class is drawing towards a conclusion. On the way back, on the final legs towards the finish, Lella and Bjorn have added to their lead. With only two and a half kilometres of running left, they can see the runners-up are at a safe distance behind across the water. Team 110, Bad Boys Ticino, are also looking around for any challengers to their second place. In third, Philip Hanschk and Daniel Grunman come out of the water only a couple of minutes later. Thomas and Jasmina have done a marvellous race in the mixed class and running, they are the next team along the waterside promenade in towards Silver Plana. On the other side of the water, we see the leading women's team, Team Ad Nature, going in for the final swim. Team head swimming, Lella Moberg and Bjorn England from Sweden complete a singular feat. With one hour left of the race, they were more or less knocked out, but instead rose to finish as overall winners of Engadin Swim Run 2015. Their struggle has lasted for six hours and 28 minutes. The Swiss triathletes Igor Nastic and Jean-Marc Katori were battling very hard and are also recognised for bravery. In their case, they claim a second place in their very first swim run competition. They finish five minutes behind Bjorn and Lella. Austrians are in third position. Philipp Hanschk and Daniel Grunman take home the bronze following a very strong team effort. During the race, sometimes I hate this course, but sometimes I love it as well. And uh, now I love this course. It's something totally unique to swim run. My, my body did, didn't answer as I hoped for. Um, I had some injuries, so I haven't run so much as I should have. Maybe that's something, or maybe the heat, I don't know. Didn't want to get uh, Bjorn uh, disappointed. Uh, <laughs> so I kept on running. <laughs> Everything was new. Uh, two days ago we were, we were still uh, trying to find a solution with, uh, with this uh, pool boy, so we are very happy for the first time, for sure it's a great experience, next time uh, we will try to win. <laughs> Finnish Dutch mixed team say no to doping. Thomas Schraven and Jasmina Glad Schraven finishing as the fourth team overall. They reach the finish line at the Sports Centre in Silver Plana, winning their class by a wide margin and a time of six hours and 39 minutes. Almost an easy win by Swedish duo Caroline Homkvist and Christine Larsen, team at Nature. Christine wins her second swim run competition and Caroline manages to hold on to her cluster of victories this season as well. We finished the, the cross the finish line first, but but it, it was, was really tough. tough. It was tough. But at the same time, it was beautiful. It was really beautiful, yeah. We like the place. Was, yeah. I think it's the nicest swim run we've yeah. done so far, really. It's fantastic here. It's not many minutes that you're really comfortable because you're either you're freezing, like you're, you're shaking, or you're really, really hot. Engadin Swim Run 2015 became a foreign affair, with more international teams on the start line than Swedish teams and with an amazing race by the front teams. 
we have some extremely competent new athletes that will be racing at Ertele, the Swim Run World Championship for the first time, and the majority of them are not from Sweden.